Welcome to Bill's Boat Hire. Prior to setting out today, please ensure you have that phone number that you've notated on your hire sheet on and within reach during the course of the hire today, just in case we need to contact you. All of your safety gears on board, so you've got your bailing bucket, your paddle, fire extinguisher, first aid kit and all your life jackets which are located on the vessels. If you've got children 12 and under on the tinnies, they must keep those life jackets on during the course of the hire today. So if we look in a northern direction, you're going to see the two red channel markers there in the distance sitting adjacent to the boardwalk. Pick up that most northern red channel marker, draw an invisible line from it to that white sign over there on Bribey Island. That is the limit of the high going north east today. Also to this red channel marker directly in front of us, the waters beyond there are out of bounds. It's far too shallow. So what you're going to do today is head in a southerly direction. You're going to look out for any flotation devices. You're aiming for the very first and most important channel marker, that red witch's hat we can see in the distance. When you get there, turn left and keep that red channel marker on your left hand side. The next channel marker is located across the passage. It's a white post with a big red square on top. Go past that, keeping it on your left hand side also. The next channel marker is located over on Bribey Island, that most northern green channel marker. In a perfect world, you would aim directly for that, but the channel's actually shifted quite significantly. It's actually moved from there to here. So once you've passed that second red channel marker, I need you to veer on a 45 degree angle left, run alongside the sandbar and aim for 200 metres to the north or left of that most northern green channel marker. Because there's actually quite a large horseshoe of sand that's built up in front of that northern green channel marker. If you aim directly for it, you're going to get stuck. So you really need to veer left after you've passed that second red channel marker. Now once you're sitting adjacent to Bribey Island, you turn right and right only keeping the green channel markers on your right hand side. You've actually got an opportunity to run alongside the island all the way as far south as where the island begins to narrow out. So you can see over there where the trees are quite sparse, that is the limit of the higher running adjacent to the island. So feel free to anchor up in there and go for a 30 metre walk across to the east side of Bribey. Once you've finished in this location and want to continue south, you'll need to do a U-turn, come back to the red channel marker and then turn into the channel, keeping green on the right hand side the whole way down. You can go into Pelican Water so you can come in underneath the bridge and always obeying the speed limits that are set. And you can cruise around the canals. Coming out of Pelican Waters, there is a toilet located just south of the entry into Pelican Waters. You'll see a timber jetty. On the southern side of that jetty, there are two cement boat ramps. Pull in between the two cement boat ramps up onto the beach. Anchor there, there's a toilet block and also to a fish and chip shop that sells bait. The limit of the hire today is Bells Creek. Forget about the boat ramp. There's nothing to see and far too many hazards up there. Keeping the yellow cross channel marker on your right hand side as you pass it, you can go up to 500 metres beyond doing a nice safe U-turn remaining in the channel. On the return now we've got green to the left and red to the right. Ensure you're following that same path back, so coming north of that last green channel marker, back around your two reds and back home to Bill's boats again. It will take you approximately 15 minutes to return from those green channel markers adjacent to Bribey Island and about half an hour from the bridge at Pelican Waters. So that gives you some timelines to work with so you're not late on your return. Thanks so much for coming to Bill's Boat Hire.